What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So we in Wales have officially entered a two week national lockdown. So there's different places in the UK which are doing their own variation of the lockdown as well. So we've got England which are doing a free tier system, level three being the worst in which only essential things would be kept open. But we in Wales right now have entered a complete lockdown which only essentially essential things are being kept open so like your pharmacies your supermarkets etc i tell you what's quite frustrating because our rate of infection is much lower than places inside of england and to see we've entered a full national lockdown when places like liverpool manchester i think as well have managed to kept their gyms open due to of course the petitions that many people have signed and of course there is a massive thing going on social media i think with a guy called nick and that really brought a lot of attention to the whole situation about trying to actually keep gyms open due to how low the rate of infection actually is inside of gyms. One stat that, don't quote me, but I think there's a stat that was being thrown, thrown about was since gyms have been open, it's been about 22 million visits and there's only been around 79 cases, which is crazy and shows how low it actually is in gyms. And seeing gyms have been classed as one of the worst places. And something I feel that like really has been disregarded in terms of gyms is the importance it actually plays in regards to your mental health. It has such an impact. Speaking from a perspective of an actual person trainer who works with clients who suffered with the mental health and they've been in states of depression and actually watching them as individuals and how they've actually grown just from going to the gym, it just shows the impact it actually has on you. And if we look at stats in terms of depression and how they're only on the rise, it is such a shame that gyms have been closed. People will say that you can keep healthy and keep fit at home, you don't need to go to the gym. Yes, that's completely true, but when you actually go to the gym, this gives you more purpose, structure to your day. Yes, I can work from the comfort of my home, but it's just not the same in terms of the social aspect that comes to actually being in the gym. And seeing others around you actually working hard just encourages you to make you push yourself and come out of your comfort zone a little bit. There is a massive positive because at least with this national lockdown, we know there's an end date to it instead of it being like, the one that we had months back. If you follow me on Instagram, you hear me keep pre preaching this over and over again. This is such a massive opportunity. You have more time to invest in yourself. You have more time to develop. Come out of this better than you're actually entering it. And if you look at it as a negative, just being stupid because it really is a positive and it's an opportunity. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys one of my last workouts I did inside the gym. So it was mainly a full body slash compound lifting workout. I did a ton of accessory movements, but I'll just show you guys some of the main compound lifts I did. Workout with a little bit of cardio. I always do a bit of cardio to start off my things. Just get my body nice and warmed up. And also because I'm doing heavy lifting today, typically when I'm doing heavy lifting, I can try and do some dynamic stretches and just really get me nice and warmed up I did actually try 230 on a deadlift but I completely failed that attempt so then I really dropped the weight back down and I did some deadlifts so I got about 180 on the bar I was really trying to do these nice and slow and control because I need to really adapt my deadlift technique so after this whole after this whole lockdown business I'm really going to try and reset everything and focus on improving my technique. Next up, I went on to the bench press. I actually tried to max out a little bit today and I attempted 140 failed in that attempt, but I did manage to get 135. So this is the most I've done since the previous lockdown, which I'm really happy about. And I'm excited to keep getting stronger from one of guys. I can't wait to see when this whole lockdown is done to try and really progress and get stronger in the coming weeks. And of course, here's some squats I got here. So I did attempt to not well, my best squat today since coming back is about 180 for two reps. But today, obviously, when you do a deadlift and you do a lot of compound lifts, this takes a lot out of you. So I only managed to get 170 and I just did 160 as you've seen before in the clip. And then just finished off with some biceps and different accessory movements, which I'm not going to really be able to have access to. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure you watch one of these videos. And I'm thinking of doing a bit of a lockdown series. If you guys, if you guys got any video suggestions, just... But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys.